Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. Have you been using iPhoto on your Mac computer? You might have heard that iPhoto is being discontinued. Now, no big deal. Apple will be replacing it with something and you can follow their directions to go on to their new system. But if you've been thinking about switching to Picasa, this might be a good time to do it and this video will show you how to import all of your iPhoto pictures into Picasa. So here we are I'm in Picasa on the Mac and I don't have very many pictures in here. If you watched the previous video about importing from a Windows computer, you'll know how I got this one folder of Denver Botanic Gardens. Now you also see an iPhoto library. However, these pictures belong to iPhoto. iPhoto has a lock on them in its library. Picasa can see them, but it can't make any changes to them. So, for example, if I look at these pictures from Fiji and I want to crop one of them. So, let's look at this pink flower here. Oops. And let's say I want to crop just to the pink. I don't want any green in there at all. I can click on crop but I get an error message. This file belongs to iPhoto and is read-only. In order to edit this file, Picasa needs to copy the file's event out of iPhoto. Would you like to make a copy now? If you click Make a Copy, it will copy all pictures from the event that this flower is in, not just the flower. And I mean that might be fine, but now you have duplicates and I think it's just kind of a mess. So I kind of think you should decide whether to stick with iPhoto or use Picasa. If you choose to use Picasa, here's what you do. First I want to take you over to iPhoto. I'm going to get out of Picasa and take you to iPhoto so you can see what I have there. So here's iPhoto, and I have uh, Turkey, Ireland, Utah, Fiji, Peace River, France, and 2010 Alaska Cruise. So there's not a whole lot, but there are seven events in iPhoto. Now I also want you to learn how it handles edits when we bring them across. So I'm going to take this little white flower and using iPhoto, I'm going to edit it and crop so that it's just, just the flower, just the one flower itself in there and apply. So once these come over to Picasso, we'll take a look and see if, the, what, if this white flower is the full picture or just the flower. So that's it. I'm going to close out of iPhoto and open Picasa again. And we're still just looking at that Fiji folder event in iPhoto and seeing this. Now, I don't want that at all anymore. I do not want the iPhoto library. I'm going to import these. So to get rid of that just view of the iPhoto library, you go to Tools and Folder Manager and find where iPhoto library is and remove from Picasa. Okay. So now we have our folders. We have the Denver Botanic Gardens, but we have no collection called iPhoto Library. Under the File menu, there is an Import from iPhoto. Do you want to copy all events from your iPhoto Library to Picasa? Yes, I do. I click on Copy. And this is going to take a little bit. I have 422 pictures in iPhoto that are being copied. And now we're starting to see them. They do have their own collection called Imported from iPhoto, and I have not found a way to remove that. So forevermore, even if you're only using Picasa, you will see that these photos originally 
came from iPhoto, but now they are in, they are just on your Mac in the Photos directory. If you go to Finder, you'll see them there, and you can edit them. So here's that Fiji folder. There's the picture of the white flower. When I open it, you see all I have is the picture of the white flower. There is an undo save, and now we have the whole picture back. Notice there is no redo for the edit, though. But so the answer is the edited picture comes over from iPhoto, but you can get back to your original with an undo save. And now we're just using Picasa. And you can crop and straighten and use whatever tools you want on your pictures in using Picasa because they these pictures no longer belong to iPhoto.